Hi guys, I'm John. Um, I'm studying sculpture. And today I want to present about minimal sculpture from minimalism. And the reason why I chose this um, subject is um, there are two reasons. First, um, this art period and art type made the United States you know, art became the, you know, the conquering art world. Because you know, normally in the past, Europe was the leading art world, but in this period, um, it transferred into America, art, art world. So I thought this was the really you know, highlighted period in our situation. And also, this minimal sculpture made the path to you know lead us to postmodernism. So I thought this is a great way to see the main results from the art history. Perfect doesn't mean there is nothing more to add. It means there is nothing more to remove. So this is um, a quote from the author from the Little Prince, which is you know, Saint Ashbury, who I read. Well, he said he's a novelist, a famous novelist, and also a flag fighter, and he died. But this was this is a significant quote that represents minimalism. So as you can see, minimalism is located here, which says no expression, only form. And it was right after the abstract experimentalism, oh, I got this right, expressionism. So it's no form, only expression. So it's kind of an opposite. And in this part of our world, in this part of our world, was fighting each other. And this came out because to resist about this this guy's idea. And when you see, like I said, after minimalism, we go to postmodern art. And we see performance, video art, earth art, but we all explain more in the back. But you guys have to focus on this because this is was a really revolutionary period in our world. So I'll <coughs> get into more detail right now. Okay, so abstract expressionism is about to, res to resist the illusionism. You know, art has to be more focused on its needs. So um, illusionism is the main theme in the Renaissance art period. So in that time, um, art was doing its job as a photography and also an art history book. So people went to gallery, people went to church, saw these great sculptures and paintings, and tried to see the world inside. Because um, they thought painters can actually you know, make a new world from this painting. So we call it mimetic. And so they, they believe that they're trying to, like, they can be able to put in some kind of spiritual activity inside the painting. So, you know, normally, we see a lot of illusionism in religious paintings. So when you see like big, you know, giant paintings represent Jesus Christ. In that time, people was trying to actually see the painting and actually they believe they're gonna they're able to feel Jesus Christ right away. So that's that's what we call illusionism. And in abstract expressionism, it's modern modern art. So it's right after Renaissance and stuff like that. So in modern art, they deny the illusion of art because they wanted art to be art. So like they wanted to focus, as paintings, they wanted to focus on the flatness because it's drawn over a canvas and also the visual and shape, not about the concept or beliefs or the spiritual aspect. They wanted to be painting as painting. Like the Clement Greenberg, he's a huge art critic and art theorist in the modern period, and he kind of represented in his quote about painting has to be painting. And also in architecture, they have to focus on volume and mass. And also music, they have to focus on the sound and the time bridge. So pretty much in this period, all art forms and art mediums have to focus on what 
what they were doing to represent their values in the world. But there were some people who didn't like this idea. We call them minimalism and minimal art. So um, they shared the same idea to resist the illusionism in art, but they tried to figure out it a different way. As art has to be soaked into the space. So minimalist is radically drags the space into their art form rather than maintaining art as art. So it's, it's a big combination. So, and they argue this idea of a specific object, which is sculpture, changing sculpture into object, and rejecting its space and involving the space and time, which is present. So um, this idea came because of phenomenology. Um, this idea is from Edmund Husserl. This idea is about um, the world can be um, seen as an individual's experience. So um, the truth in world is what you see, what you feel, rather than what you read and what you, you know. So it, it was radically trying to um, make you focus on the experience. So the minimalism and minimal artist was trying to pull that idea of experience into their artwork. So that's why they wanted to make their artwork um, don't be seen as just sculpture, well-made sculpture. They wanted to be seen as an object to involve the viewers from the gallery. So Donald Judge is the leading theorist and also a sculptor himself which argues the idea of what you see is the present. So um, this activity kind of made the art um, get to have this uh, huge idea, rather than like before, they, we just saw how beautiful the curve, the sculpture was, how beautiful the color was, and stuff like that. But he said, he thought that's kind of, you know, a limit from the sculpture. So he wanted to break the limit and try to make his sculpture out of the pedestal and leave it in the floor to actually invade the space, which nobody hasn't think about it before. So um, this is the theatrical relationship, which is um, minimalism and minimal art trying to make this kind of organization and relationship. So it's about the viewer and the space this triangle is actually making the viewer to experience something rather than the artist is showing something. So it's a big turn of um, the art. So right here, the big change is becoming like this. So artist is, the, you know, after, uh, before minimalism, it was all about the artist idea, the artist technique. But in minimalism, they argue to change this perspective into right. There's no not now um, artist isn't important. It's about the viewer's experience, and also it's not about the shape and its form. It's about the space where it is located, and also reject the illusionism. They wanted to make their sculpture into the object. So, for example. Donald Jones, as you can see, he is radically choosing the simplest form shape and pretty much no color contained to make his sculpture to look at an object to include this whole space inside of his sculpture. So um, when when you guys see when you guys go to see how you or you know when you deal with minimalist sculptures, you have to see the whole part of the space rather than focusing on each shift in sculpture because it doesn't mean anything. He's trying to actually make your guys focus on the whole. So it's pretty much, we call it minimalism, but they're actually trying to make it more like, you know, involve everything, so. And this is another guy, Robert Morris, it's the same thing. So. These are same shapes but different locations. So people is actually able to see it differently. Every people can able to see it differently. When you change, when you move, when you touch it, and 
stuff like that. So he's radically challenging the viewer to see it rather than always this this is my idea, you guys have to see it like this way. He's not trying to say that. And also this is Carl Andre. The same mechanism. So he's making his sculpture into tiny pieces to make this whole space involved in his sculpture. And also Dan Sabin, he used you know, this Florence light with his work. And what he was trying to do is to think to involve the space. And also the same with Harry Tricera. He is actually doing the same thing with this. And also the fact that he is using yarn and strings to show the minimalist form to involve the whole space. And the last John McCracken, he's doing he's using the simple repeat of you know long bars to actually have the thing. Yeah. So return to this theatrical relationship. This is pretty much the important um, revolution in art world because this made um, art to become move on to the postmodernism. So like this theatrical relationship made installation art. So installation art is about site specificity. So um, this means like when you guys think about installation art, you guys think about like projection and stuff like that. And what they are guys, what they are really doing is about they're trying to use radically use the specific space of their art. Like like when when they need to go to a place, um, a ruin like roller coaster. They have to go there to actually make their work because they wanted to involve that essence and atmosphere inside their work. So um, in that case, um, we call installation art as site specific art as well. And this is all about theatrical relationship also. And also land art. This is like the huge, you know, like the sculptures getting out of the white cube, like galleries, and actually trying to be located in various like land, like outside, ocean, beach, and also performance. This is radically about the theatrical relationship also. It's not about the performance shape. They're trying to figure out the aesthetic inside the relationship. And also conceptual art too. Um, conceptual art is pretty much known in postmodernism. So what they're doing is all, also, they're not trying to show the beauty of their sculpture. They're trying to um, make the viewer to see what's beyond that sculpture. So it all became possible because of this theatrical relationship, which minimalism and minimalist artists tried to do. And they actually were very successful to you know, make the after artists to maintain this various art. Questions, comments?